This is one of those kind of weird compilation videos. Here's our current status. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to do a few things today, actually. We're going to be, well, the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to be applying Molly to our final drive, and we're going to be uh, flushing or changing the final drive fluid in the uh, GS rear diff. We're also going to be replacing the, um, the rear brake pads. And then finally, we're going to grab some uh, RBF 600, I think. And we're going to be doing a brake bleed on the rear brakes as well. Uh, what else are we going to be doing while we're back there? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I actually don't know who worked on my, my bike last. I think it was BMW or... I don't think the local dude did it, but basically... <laughs> I had to hit PB blaster to this, wait half an hour. I also had to hit it with some heat and uh, cause these things were really in there. So the, um, all right, <laughs> geez, that was fun. Um, we're gonna remove this um, possum scraper next, which is a little bit different for me because um, well this bolt, is the stock T25. I've got uh, this one here, which is uh, holding on the uh, final drive guard right there. Sweet. Now, um, if you do have a final drive protector installed, now's a good time to go ahead and uh, clean it off is gonna be a T40. So 45 on the bottom, 40 up top. Gonna to crack this. Probably should've gotten a uh, paper towel first, but whatever. Get that ready to go. Well, shit. <laughs> I lost some on the floor. That's why you should have a paper towel ready. <laughs> Should flow much nicer now that you've uh, cracked that top. Look at that. If you're lucky like me to have the um, the magnetic drain plug, then uh, make sure you clean out the. Uh, this is from Beamer Boneyard. Clean out all the soot in there. It can really get built up, which. That's the job of the uh, magnetic drain plug, is to get all this silly crap. All that gets stored down there with metal shavings and a little bit of molly, because this only has 12,000 miles on this final drive. So some of it is some of that molly from, um, take that off. It went on, just like that. Clean these threads out one more time and then we'll uh, put that back in there. This is a finger tight torque. Do not over torque. Now we're not gonna put final drive fluid up here just yet. And the reason for that is we're about to drop the final drive, which is gonna involve this uh, paralever up here in order to uh, loop up the final drive splines. But first, luckily, we need to remove this rear brake caliber, which is great because I need to uh, replace the rear brake pads anyway. So good timing on that one. That's why this video is happening in the order it's happening. Well, as you can see, I made the smart decision to finally put gloves on. All right, we've got a, uh, two T40s right here. These are gonna break these loose, but actually, sorry. Uh, before I do that, I need to actually go around the other side. There's something special over here, T30. This is our um, is that a speed sensor. Either way, it's got to come out. And this really should not be in there very tight. There we go. And just so you don't get confused. This will screw back in that hole. Be right here.
All right, we've got our uh, two T40s out. So now this is free. This can come right up off of the uh, rotor here. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, if you flip this over, you'll see we've got uh, two pads in there. And they're pretty worn down, you know? Pretty worn indeed. So you go on the back side of this. I wish I had my taller tripod with me. You've got some retainer clips here. So um, these need to come out for this to be a success. Let me just pop this guy out of its little carrier there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but we've removed with a pick those two retainer clips. And now you can pull this out. Just like that. Now be careful, this might try to jump out of place here. that and now these will fall right out of place you want to make sure that you orient them so the hole is on the outside here for the pin to work we may have to get our spreaders but I don't think we will This to be facing up. Boom. Oops. Luckily, um, with this job, we can put this brake caliper to the side. There's that. You can see right there how that's all going to fit on the rotor. Uh, we put this great brake caliper to the side because we're going to drop the final drive next. This is going to hang over there. And, you know, if you're a good guy, ignore the fact that you scratch up your final drive. With your well, PD blaster and heat gun later, we got it out. This is, this is a very serious bolt to get out. Um, you know, for the... For the R1200GS, this is not really what they consider to be serviceable. I mean, it's not something that they say, hey, drop the final drive. They treat this bolt as permanent. And so that's why you have this problem here. Um, okay, so the Molly Lube, this stuff here, you can get from Beamer Boneyard. It's really good stuff. So um, let's see if I can drop this without issue. There's this here. This is loose now. We're gonna hold the brake and drop the uh, jack. You see it starts to fall. There are some hooks inside of here that sort of wanna hang on. Actually, I'm gonna grab this and clean that out a little bit as it drops. Those hooks there are going to try to hold on. Back this away. And drop this down on that mallet right there. Okay. So you can see our setup right there. Got this on a mallet so it's not, so the rotor's not touching the ground. There is our uh, spline. I did molly it. Um, I don't know, about 11,000 miles ago, but uh, it's still some on there. The good thing is, what's great about this is that, yes, there's a little bit of rust there, but look how there's no corrosion at all, despite about 12,000 miles in this bike. Here's the, you don't want to spin this, but here's the, um, the other side of the spline right there. Looks really great, actually. So we're going to put our gloves back on, and we're going to apply some Molly Lube to the, to the uh, drive shaft here. So the first time I did this, it took a really long time to get these aligned. And uh, second time doing it, and it took about um, 15 seconds. The key thing was keeping the, um, the bike in first gear because that it doesn't, 
doesn't move enough to really disrupt that offset there. All right, so we're going to uh, screw this back together. But first, apply a little bit of Loctite to this bolt, um, which is going to require me So see here we've got uh, 170 milliliters of 7590. It's a cool tool because you can screw this on. Well, first, remove this. And then this threading on the end screws right into the fill nozzle perfectly. Grab your T40. Remember, not too much, just finger tight. And now um, the rest is self-explanatory. Uh, reaffix the final drive guard, reaffix the possum scraper, make sure that's all good, and you are um, done. Just a hose, but it's um, basically relocates uh, a breather valve. That this so this piece here used to live behind down here, but um, what this hose does is it basically moves that breather valve up to as high as you want it to go, which for me is actually up near the crash bars. Or, I'm sorry, up near the luggage rack, and um, and the reason for that is because when you're doing water crossings, um, <laughs> there's a chance you're doing water crossings that you could pull some water into the final drive causing premature rust and failure so the idea of this is that by relocating it up to a higher point point which for me is right there well if if i have water up to here i've got bigger problems than uh, a little bit of water getting into my uh final drive so uh, that's that's because it's above basically my exhaust um that's the point of it does it work Probably not. I mean, does it help? Um, is it worth $80? Hell no. It's worth $4, but here we are. Thanks to our tech. But uh, no, anyway, so I'm not a mechanic. I think this went really well and um, hopefully it helps someone. I, I, I would say that uh, this is a normal 12,000 mile for a lot of you, which is uh, pull the possum scraper, pull the final drive guard, um, drain the final drive fluid, pull the brake caliper, um, pull your uh, final drive breather, drop the final drive, lube it, lift it back up, replace the brake pads because every 12,000 miles you're going to need new rear brake pads, um, fill 170 milliliters of fluid, and you're done. I will link in the comments or the description uh, of the torque specs for these. Uh, this works, so go there and check it out. All right, guys, rock on and be safe. Thanks for watching.